Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steelers trade stance on Cortland Sutton gets major update. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been very busy as of late. From free agency signings to draft selections, the team is poised to field a new-look offense come September. Nonetheless, the team is still looking to make an additional transaction, based on the rumors. All the current talk surrounding Pittsburgh points toward a potential acquisition for the wideout room. There are several names involved, but a recent update states that Cortland Sutton is out of the equation. Sutton has been one of the players linked to the Steelers recently. However, the Denver Broncos receiver is likely staying in the Mile High City, based on a recent tweet by Nine News Broncos reporter Mike Kliss. It's not Cortland. No plans to trade him, Kliss posted. As, George, Peyton and, Sean, Peyton let Bronco Land know in recent weeks, Sutton, is, in good standing. With Sutton being ruled out as a trade target, the Steelers won't be getting the services of a receiver who tallied 772 yards and a career-best 10 touchdowns last season. While these aren't elite-tier numbers, they're still decent, and they would have arguably made Sutton the second option behind George Pickens. With Deontay Johnson traded away, the rotation behind Pickens consists of Calvin Austin, 3, and Van Jefferson. Then behind them are Quez Watkins and rookie Roman Wilson. Unless one of the said rotational players makes a huge leap this coming year, the lack of depth at the wideout position is a probable concern for the Steelers. Although it can be noted that the Steelers' identity revolves around the running game, having a formidable passing attack is still a must. In a league with so much talent, having the smallest edge could make the biggest difference. Oh, and fielding another weapon alongside Pickens will definitely benefit the new quarterbacks. If the team wants Russell Wilson and Justin Fields to perform at their best, then surrounding them with a competitive receiving room is essential. There's no official trade announcement yet, so Steelers fans will have to wait for now. On the bright side, Pittsburgh's free agency moves have been quite promising. The entry of Wilson and Fields headlines an offseason that's given the team other new faces such as middle linebacker Patrick Queen and cornerback Dante Johnson. In addition, the team selected promising O-line talents in the draft. As their first-round pick, the Steelers drafted tackle Troy Fotanu then followed that up in the next round by selecting center Zach Frazier. It'll be interesting to see the revamped offense this coming season. If the Steelers can somehow find a way to secure a number two receiver, then all the major dents in their armor will arguably be fixed. Steelers' Roman Wilson drawing legendary comparisons. Following a draft that pleased many Pittsburgh Steelers fans, one of the Steelers' picks has received quite high praise. Roman Wilson, the 84th pick of the draft in the third round, is the Steelers' newest wide receiver. Dave Hellman of the NFL on Fox podcast had high praise, comparing Wilson to former Steelers' great wide receiver Heinz Ward. This just feels like a Pittsburgh pick, Hellman said. Very Heinz Ward why, in my opinion. Roman Wilson can play everywhere. He's gritty, does the dirty work. Promise you, he's going to lay a block or two over the course of his rookie year. Both receivers will have entered the league as undersized, physical options at the wide receiver position. With 1,000 catches for 12,083 yards, Ward has left Wilson large shoes to fill. With 85 career receiving touchdowns, Ward was one of the most dominant wide receivers of his time. Ward also helped lead the Steelers to their fifth and sixth Super Bowls, being one of the primary targets for Ben Roethlisberger during his career. With a 4.4140 yard dash, Wilson enters the league as threat both with his speed and physicality, and had the collegiate statistics to show for it. In the 2023 season, Wilson played in all 15 games, catching 48 passes for 789 yards and 12 touchdowns as Vikings draft pick J.J. McCarthy's primary receiver. Ex-Pro Bowl WR named potential Steelers target. 
the Pittsburgh Steelers added Michigan wide receiver Roman Wilson in the third round of the 2024 NFL Draft. But with Wilson expected to play more of a slot receiver role, the Steelers could still use another addition at wideout. Steelers now's Alan Saunders proposed veteran free agent DJ Chark could be that addition. On April 28, Saunders named Chark one of five potential free agent receivers the Steelers could still target this offseason. Chark is a big body that could be a blocking weapon, and has played in a similar scheme when he was with the Detroit Lions, Saunders wrote. In 2019 and 2020 with the Jacksonville Jaguars, he was very productive, totaling over 1,700 yards, 13 TDs, and a Pro Bowl nod in 2019. Though it's been a while since he reached that level, he's still only 27 years old. During his 2019 Pro Bowl season, Chark posted 73 catches for 1,008 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns. He also had 53 catches for 706 yards and 5 scores with the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2020. With the Detroit Lions in 2022, Chark only caught 30 passes, but he averaged a career-high 16.7 yards per catch. Behind that efficiency, he registered his third 500-yard campaign. Last season, he had 35 catches for 525 yards and five touchdowns with the Carolina Panthers. The Steelers have received raved reviews for their 2024 draft class. Pro Football Focus awarded the Steelers an a for their draft, while ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. graded Pittsburgh's class with an A-. NFL Network's Daniel Jeremiah also spoke highly of Pittsburgh's work in the draft. Overall, I thought Pittsburgh had a really good draft, Jeremiah wrote on X, formerly Twitter, on April 29th. But just because the Steelers had a great draft doesn't mean they addressed all of their needs. On offense, the biggest remaining need sits at receiver. The Steelers grabbed Wilson in the third round at number 84 overall in the third round. But in 2024, he's not expected to start opposite George Pickens as the team's number two receiver. If general manager Omar Khan isn't going to pull off a blockbuster trade for Brandon Ayuk or Cortland Sutton, then Pittsburgh could use an outside receiver on a one-year deal to fill that void. Chark fits that requirement. His recent yards per catch success could even make him an intriguing pair with Pickens, who led the NFL in yards per reception during 2023. In 69 NFL games, Chark has registered 212 receptions, 3,069 receiving yards, and 23 touchdowns. It's late in the process to be adding a starting wide receiver in NFL free agency. But there are more quality veterans available than just Chark. In addition to Chark, Saunders named Michael Thomas, Michael Gallup, Odell Beckham Jr. and Marquez Valdez Scantling potential receiver targets for the Steelers. But in his article on April 28, Saunders also looked at why each of those receivers comes with risks. For Chark, injuries are a concern. After those strong years in Jacksonville, Chark had two straight injury filled campaigns playing in four games with Jacksonville in 2021 and 11 games with Detroit in 2022, wrote Saunders. The trajectory is not good. He had 706 yards in 2020, 654 yards in 15 games, between 2021 to 22, and 525 yards last season. Chark didn't return to the 700-yard plateau upon being healthy mostly last season for the first time since 2020. However, that could have more because of the struggling Panthers' offense than anything. Any wide receiver the Steelers target in free agency at this point is going to come with risks. The question is which one has the lowest risk and potentially fits best in the Pittsburgh offense. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of DJ Chark? Leave your opinion in the comments.